today we'll have a look at this pen. This pen was lent to me by a friend and it's an interesting one. This is an old-fashioned diplomat and this is a, a diplomat from the time they did a couple of things differently from how they do it now. Uh, diplomat is a brand that I much appreciate even though I don't own a lot of diplomats I have owned quite a few um, and I have always been very pleased by the way they perform. They are I think excellent value for the money, often steel bodies, humble cartridge converters, but there's nothing wrong with that, and nibs that are tuned really well, which is getting rarer all the time. So I'm excited to try out one of the old models, I've given it a test run, and we're going to talk about it. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen, I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. Let's start with the pen. The very top of the pen. Now, I'm also wounded. I'm mortally wounded because I cut myself. Um, here we have the finial that is not the sort of fleur de lis type finial they um, they do these days. This just says uh, 1922. I'm holding it up correctly. No, it wasn't. I think. Sorry. Uh, 1922. I uh, assume a year of establishment. What do you call that? Establishing. Founding year of the year with the diplomat that it was invented and made and etc. Um, we have the uh, uh, nice sort of metal on the uh, clip there uh, which I enjoy. I, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a, a fleur de lis or a, a Maltese cross or but it's it's cool. I, I like it. it. It gives it a bit of a medieval look. You have the clip, simple clip design. Clip is Pretty stiff, but very usable. We have the center band. The center band on one side says uh, Diplomat Germany and then uh, Classic Collection. Classic Collection. I really enjoy that. Simple, it's all metal. The barrel, simple, shiny metal and a gold ish uh, end cap thing. All right. I uncapped the pen, it's a slip cap, and this is a steel broad nib, just having a look at it, yeah, it's that same cross, interesting, uh, they, they, they put that same cross on there, uh, it says Diplomat, it says 1922, and it's uh, it's a broad, uh, I, I think these are very cool nibs, number six nib, then you have the slightly tapered, or maybe even a bit barrel shaped uh, section, a little cap lip and uh, that's it. Now you unscrew the barrel and what a Diplomat does, as far as I can recall they still do that down to this day, is they put a little rubber o-ring there. Now I really don't think that o-ring is there to eyedropper the pen. People are obsessed with, with converting pens to eyedroppers. Uh, I, I don't think it's there for that reason. I, I think it's merely there uh, so that you can uh, you don't accidentally unscrew the barrel. It is metal on metal, so that that could happen. Uh, and of course, then you have the uh, the converter. Very simple uh, converter works well. All right. Now the downside to that rubber O-ring is that it's quite tough to put that back in place. What do I think about the pen? Well, it's a diplomat. A diplomat means, as far as I know, because pretty much all of them I have handled are roughly the shape, apart from the um, that, that arrow, I think it was called, the sort of zeppelin shape one. This is a rock solid shape, and I like that. It's simple, it adds a bit of weight because it's all metal, it feels sturdy, it's a well-made pen, it's simple. I like it when a pen brand comes up with something and sticks to it. It's all roughly the same shape, and it works. It's comfortable. It's um, because I'm gravely wounded on this finger. I'm going to use uh, my left hand today. It's a nice shape. It's big enough. It's heavy enough. If you want, you can post it, and it posts in a normal fashion, so the cap doesn't stick out for half a meter. It just posts nicely. This is good. It's sturdy. You can hold by the cap. Pen won't fall out. 
I think there's a lot going for this design. Now, of course, this is a discontinued model. As far as I know, you can't get this anymore. You can get other ones, the, the Excellence models, which are very, very similar. They don't have the, the, the metal on the clip, but in shape, they're very similar. Section is very similar. Nib performance is very similar. They're cool. I like Diplomat. Simple brand, also decently priced. So, I like that. Things I don't like about it so much. Well, there isn't that much. These are decently made pens. Are they groundbreaking designs? Not really. Do they have uh, exotic filling systems? Not really. It's cartridge converter pens. But hey, it works. And if you put it up like this, I really like this. The, the shape, slightly bulbous here, then it goes down, gold ring. Bulbous, it goes down, gold part. It works. It works. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. So, I like it. It performed well, it writes well, nice broad, that's an actual broad, it flows well. What more could you wish for? I, uh, I think it's a cool pen. So, measurements of the pen will be on the website, sbrebrown.com, as well as high resolution pictures taken by Gourmet Pens. Uh, let's do a writing sample. I hope this was useful so far. Thanks to Marco for lending me the pen, and um, I'm glad to see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, so here we go with the Diplomat Classic. Uh, this is a broad nib and the ink is Pitacan Royal Blue. Okay. The nib is smooth. I don't find it the smoothest nib I have ever used. Uh, there is definitely a touch of feedback, but it's not at all scratchy. It's a pleasant sensation writing with this pen. Let's do some fast writing. You see an occasional skip here and there, but I wouldn't call that horrible. Okay, well, the wetness of the nib... It's definitely on the wetter side, but it is a broad. It's not a gusher, but it is not dry. Line variation. It is a steel nib. You can squeeze out some line variation. Uh, if you really want to, though. Then for those of you who enjoy reverse writing, here we have the normal line width, and then that is what you get with reverse writing. Definitely a scratchier experience, and as you can see, the nib runs dry. So I don't think this is a nib you can really use for reverse writing for extended periods. Okay, there we go. Of course, I thank my dear friend who has lent me this pen for the review. Hope this was useful, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye.